got zipper trouble. Zipper kind of gets stuck up at the top and then wants to open up where it's not supposed to. eight tent stakes and one is very bent so I think we're gonna need to get some new ones very soon. Good morning! It's day 64 on the PCT. Camp has been packed up and we're gonna start hiking in a moment. Uh, one of our first stops will be to get water because we didn't really pass any for a while yesterday. Dry camped. So I have one full liter, um, but one empty bottle that I need to fill up, I think. Same for Joe. And then it'll be about 25 miles today, I think. And there's supposed to be lots of water throughout the day, so that's nice. I really liked this campsite. There were no, no animals, no scary trees nearby that could fall on us. The ground was really flat and I slept really good, so that's always good. I'm loving the trail this morning. It's climby and kind of up and down and up and down a little bit, but it's beautiful. There's a lot of really pretty views and all the trees are alive. Honestly, that could be, it could just be the contrast from the last couple of days that is making it extra wonderful, but I'm loving it. Look at this. It's just so pretty. You can see the trail from a distance. There's views every corner. Nice and smooth and cruisy. It's not hot yet. It's shady. Loving it. We just took a steep side trail down to a stream to fill our water. And now we have to walk back up. It's only 0.3 miles, but it is steep. <laughs> oh, how the forest can be so burnt like this for so long and then never mind all good is this just a small section or is this just like right here the fire gave up I was like now nah, you're good Here's our next water source, Cold Springs. This is so random to just be in the woods, but I'll take it. Sierra. We entered the Sierra Nevada range a little while ago and left the Cascades. So new new terrain. Or just a new area. And it's funny just passing that little sign somehow 
it already feels different. The mountains beside us are taller as we walk through this valley and we're passing a lot of uh, streams and waterfalls and there's a bridge so it's just something a little different than I think we've had in a while which is exciting I admit for a little while everything felt very routine and you know not as much excitement in the days but you know I don't want to say it in a way that makes it sound like I'm not fully enjoying myself every day because I am but when you have so much beauty every day you can't help but compare one beauty to another and Oregon and Northern California had their moments of extreme beauty but still Washington has been my absolute favorite part of this hike so far. The Northern Cascades were just stunning and I don't think it's just because that was the start and everything was new. It truly was beautiful landscape. But now we're entering or we have entered a part of the trail that people always talk about as extremely beautiful and a highlight. Although I think that'll truly happen once we get to the high Sierra in a couple hundred miles. But yeah, even just crossing that sign to the edges of that range, it is already beautiful. I'm getting excited for, for the next section of this hike. I just took my first hands to the ground trip as we were crossing that stream. I made it across the stream fine, just stepping on a couple wet rocks. But then on the shore, I don't know, I chipped on a stick or something and just right down onto my hands. I think I tore my the elbow and my uh, shirt a little bit, which is unfortunate. But hey, it's the first tear in the shirt. got a issue with the zipper on our tent where it doesn't close all the way in a certain spot it kind of snags up and then does that thing where the zipper opens up where you don't want it to um so Joe's tinkering with that and while he does that I'm gonna head 0.2 miles down the trail to collect water because both of our bottles are nearly empty and then with that water, we'll be able to have our dinner and then wash up and go to bed. I'm pretty tired, but it was a fun day. It was a really beautiful trail. Ooh, wow. There's water right here. I don't think this is supposed to be this close. It must be unseasonably flowing. So that's awesome. I'm gonna clock this now. And that's four liters filtered and filled. <laughs> 